pleasure at Virginia Civil Service Academy today to invite Mr. Madhuri, uh, Ms. Madhuri Lata. Uh, she is a person who's great motivation to us. Though physically challenged at uh, seven months, she's physically challenged from seven months, affected by polio. She has done a lot of activities uh, in all professional as well as in sports. So uh, I will read out what what kind of uh, qualifications she has. In uh, professional qualification, she is qualified and certificate associates of in, uh, Indian institutes of bankers, uh, certified documentary credit specialist from IFS UK. She is certificate anti-money laundering specialist from ACAMS USA. So that's the professional qualifications. Uh, saying, said, uh, said that, now she, since physically disabled, she is not able to go and access school education because of the physical infrastructure which is not provided by the schools. From 10th standard, she is studying privately. Uh, she went, uh, everything has been done on a private manner. Uh, presently, now she is working as Associate Vice President for Scope International Services, which is a subsidiary of Standard Charter. So, that itself is a big record. I guess you can give a round of applause. Now, all this has been consumed by what she has uh, achieved in the sports career. Sports career, she has received the most encouraging sports person award in Corporate Sports Olympiad in 2010. And uh, I didn't mention, she is a swimmer. So, she has won bronze medal in Corporate Sports Olympiad 2011, 100 meter freestyle swimming. She has won three Olympic gold medals on National Paralympic Swimming. Uh, two silvers, two bronze medals in National Paralympic Swimming. Four gold medals in State Level Paralympic Swimming. And she has won a silver and three bronze in 13th National Paralympic Swimming Championship in 2013. <laughs> so, a person like her is a real motivation for us. So, she has found, she is a founder of Yes We Can Do movement. A movement which encourages challenged persons to participate in both physical as well as educational activities. So, I would like to put your hands together for a speech and uh, get motivated by it. Thank you. Thank you, Jinnas. Good evening to everybody. Uh, it's my pleasure to meet all of you. Uh, whenever I get a chance to meet youngsters like you, I won't leave that one. Just, uh, I love to meet youngsters because you are the future. Uh, just I want to know how many of you are attending for the UPSC exam? Okay, how many of you are thinking that you can get IAS? I am expecting all the hands. Whoever is appearing, everybody should raise your hand. When we are writing some examination, our aim is to get that one and we should believe first. Yes, I can do. Then only, that is first step. 50% of your success will depend on this only first. After that only remaining 50% doing, uh, acquiring knowledge and all, the, all other things comes next only. First you should believe that I am appearing UPSC. My target is IAS or IPS, whatever is your interest. So whatever is your interest, you think that tomorrow I am going to become IAS. I will become IPS. Hopefully, I may come to your uh, office and I may wait for your appointment also. It will happen, definitely. And TNPSC, remaining all others are attending TNPSC. Okay, okay. It's nice. So, actually, what do you want to know from me? It is, it is I don't like to, uh, only me speaking something. I don't want that type of thing. I want questions from you, uh, just you tell me what you want to know from me. Now, uh, you, he told most of the things about 
me. So, which part do you are uh, feeling interesting, quite interesting? That is so motivation factor to which. Okay, motivation. All the parts are motivation only. No, no. Which part? Uh, you are my education part, our sports part. Which one you are having more interest? Okay, many of the uh, disabled people are there. I have met many people. But uh, all are not like you, no. So, somewhat uh, we encourage you or uh, something stimulating you to reach some target, no. I mean, yeah. uh, education or sports, whatever. Okay. But, so, uh, yes, small part. You want to know how I am able to achieve? No. Uh -huh. Which one, uh, which part of the area you uh, change your life? Like, uh, for example, till 10th standard, I was just a student. But uh, one person talked to me about KBC and the, those things. So I, I, I thought it came to mind. So which... Uh, okay. Uh, my father is a high school headmaster. So generally you know that school teachers, they will concentrate more than uh, their children should study well like that. So uh, maybe because of that our genes also, I don't know, I love to study. So even before uh, joining into the school, uh, I used to go along with my sister, siblings, and uh, just school atmosphere means I love and I love it very much. So I used to go before joining into the school year. In those days, uh, fifth year or sixth year only we could join in the school. Nowadays, uh, two and a half years after the three kg we will start <laughs> LKG, UKG like that. Uh, it was not like that. No, in my childhood, uh, Papa Vides. 100% videos and my parents were in a rural area. Uh, in those days, polio vaccination, they don't have much idea. So they didn't go for that. And at the age of 7th month, I was affected by severe uh, polio. Uh, so more than 80%. So both my legs are affected and even my spine also got affected. That was my condition. So uh, the most important thing is, not me, about me. First of all, my parents. When they, when a child is born with uh, good health, and suddenly, if the child becomes like this, uh, that facing that challenge is really it's a great challenge for my parents. But they could come out of that, and after that, they started encouraging me. In my house, never I never faced any problem because you are a different level person. That's why don't do this. Like that, never, I, I didn't have that type of differentiation. Actually, I, I have more like superiority thing <laughs> because uh, yeah, I'm the, I was the, I'm the youngest child of my family. So everybody loves me very much and uh, more uh, love and affection for me and uh, whatever I tell, it has to be done. So that type of atmosphere I have come up. Uh, so it's so nice, my parents and my siblings, they brought me up like that. And studies, naturally, I am very much interested. So up to 10th standard, I went to school and I used to be the first, first, either it is class, first school, first class, subjects, first day, everything. So whenever any college day function, school day functions are there, all prizes related to education, like all subjects, class, first class, first like that, and uh, essay writing, debate, quiz, whatever is related to brain, I used to be there. So when it comes to sports, I will tell you that part also later. When it comes to sport, zero. I didn't have any uh, medals or anything. Only education, knowledge related things only. So that happened like that. Uh, so after that, after 10th standard, what happened uh, when I wanted to go to college, there was all steps and the other two mathematics <coughs> Uh, is my favorite subject. When I want to do with that, I need to go for a sub, uh, group, Mathematics, Physics, Chemistry. Physics, Chemistry, all of you know, practicals will be there. But there was no proper uh, accessibility. So when I requested that uh, principal, he told that he could not make any alterations. Then I, I was not like this. Suppose if I am like this today, whatever I know, that confidence levels are there, I would have requested more and tried to find out a way. But finally we thought that because he is telling it's not possible, we accepted it. 
and IPR privately from there. In Andhra Pradesh, I'm from Andhra Pradesh, and so we used to call that intermediate, plus 1 and plus 2, we used to call as intermediate. So intermediate, uh, I appear privately with mathematics, economics and logic. I was the only student in that area with that group because I wanted to do with mathematics. So I have only two options. At that time, I didn't have much interest with MEC, CMS, Commerce. So I took MEL. So that logic, that group itself, nobody know, knew in that area. I was the only student who wrote exam in logic. For me alone, uh, super police uh, officials and invigilators, chief invigilator, all the people, some 10 people were there, only for one candidate. <laughs> that was a fantastic experience for me, only for me, so many people were there. Uh, so I wrote that exam and uh, Alajit, actually when the intermediate board secretary who gave permission, he told my pa father, it seems, Alajit is a very difficult subject. That too you are telling she has to study privately, so don't uh, tell her not to go for that. But I went for that because I didn't have any other choice. Uh, I went for that and I could get 87% uh, in that classic. <laughs> and even mathematics also I didn't have anybody to teach. So only I have uh, de depended purely on the guides, seniors, notebooks. And one of my cousins, now and then, he used to support me with some difficult chapters. With that, I could get 95% in mathematics. So, after that, when I started appearing privately, what I did, my nature is like, I love to mingle with people. I am not a person who wants to sit at home. So, then, when I am sitting at home and studying, how can I mingle with, meet other people, outside world, how can I meet? <coughs> then I thought that, okay, I will start conducting tuitions. So, mathematics naturally my favorite subject. So, if I was in inter first year, inter first year, 10th class student was my student. Like that, only one year gap. So, I conducted tuitions up to degree mathematics I conducted. Uh, and in degree, one incident I want to share with you. What happened? One particular chapter was there. And Fully on theorems. Anybody is there, mathematics student? So you know that theorems explaining itself is difficult. So my cousin told, okay, you prepare for all other chapters. This chapter alone, you leave it, I will come and uh, teach. Then I left it. Just before exam, he suddenly told me, sorry, I could not come, I had some other urgent work. Had I known, at least I could have tried to prepare. Just uh, before exam only I could know. I came to know. So what I did, uh, we, my father and myself went to so many mathematics lecturers who were telling. Initially they told, okay, okay. After telling that particular chapter, they told that <laughs> we have some other work like that. They hesitated to tell that particular chapter. It's really very tough. So then finally what I did is just I by heart I didn't know what is the meaning of those things, just I barred and out of that, luckily one theorem came and I wrote without knowing what, how that theorem will come everything. And after that, next year, um, I need to, I'm conduct, I was conducting tuitions, no? So I had to tell that particular chapter. Then, first I really I tried a lot, for 10-15 days I concentrated on that, some fear was there for me. Because that was so tough to, yeah, that to explain to this type of people. I tried a lot, 15 days I tried that and first I understood well how this theorem derived, they, they derived this result. Finally, when I told, when I explained to them, they loved it very much and everybody told that, that nobody explained like this. Really, that was the greatest achievement for me. I felt very happy. You can understand you know, when we study something, if some doubt is there, we can leave it. But when we are telling others, we don't know what doubt they are going to ask. So we should be 100% perfect. Then only we can clear that doubt. Even today also I feel happy for that particular thing. So it was so nice. And after graduation, from the beginning, my parents were telling, 
you should be independent. You should not depend on anybody. We can't tolerate too much. Okay, my siblings, they love me very much. But after some time, because of their hectic schedule, they may not be able to take care of me. We don't know what's going to happen. My parents told, if anybody ill treat you, or if they tell, score you anything, we can't tolerate. So you should be independent. From my childhood, they used to tell me this one. So my in my brain, the, it may be one of the replies for you. So if I tell my brain, I should become independent. Financially, I should become independent. So the, actually, I, I was the first person in my siblings who started earning first because I collected tuitions, no? So that gave me great confidence. Actually, whoever students are there, I, I tell them it's a good thing. It's not only for money. Because I conducted tuitions, it improved my confidence levels. After that, when I went for interviews, it was so easy for me. Because daily I am interacting with students. That too, you know, daily <coughs> students, uh, how, uh, how naughty children are and how, uh, how many questions they will ask. So after facing these students, we can face any interviews very easily. That is very good thing actually. So after that, when I applied for uh, job, job, doing job is the my aim at the, in those days. So for that, when I applied for LIC, first because my mother is having some LIC agency, so my father thought, <coughs> okay, if we get LIC job, she can be here and uh, like that he thought. I applied and I was preparing all this uh, reasoning, all those things, uh, automatic, all those things. I was preparing very hard and uh, uh, after that I came to know others, some people got <coughs> hard tickets, but I didn't get. Then I thought, uh, why I didn't get that? They won't send a hard ticket for everybody. On the merit basis only they will send. When I inquired, the people who got less marks, they got um, hard tickets. I didn't get. Then when my father went there, uh, uh, and where did that get over that? Any disability related to legs, we won't allow for uh, differently able, physically challenged people, we don't allow for this particular post. <laughs> now only I know, I know that civils also we can write. In those days, we were in a rural area, we don't know anything. Uh, whether they will give job or not, that is a doubt. Now we can tell it's the right. But now on those days it was a doubt whether they will give or not. So when they told that simply we accepted and they told that okay you can write for typist exam uh, that we will give even for less related disability. I didn't, I, even though I was a bright student I didn't even think about higher positions. Because we were thinking for this reason that they were not giving then high positions like civil services and how they will give. That was the doubt. So I didn't even uh, appear for this type of exams also. So uh, that uh, time is again I, I started learning typing and I learned uh, in Telugu higher, English lower, English higher like that all those things. And at that time my cousin came and told I saw some people like you working in a bank. Why don't you write BSRB? In those days BSRB was the banking service re recruitment board. I wrote that exam. I wrote that exam and I cleared that exam and the written test uh, interview also. Everything is over. They invited us for medical test. We went there. At that time they told that you come on so and so day. We will give appointment order. So we came back and we were preparing for going to Hyderabad to take appointment orders. Suddenly I received a uh, telegram. In those days telegrams were there, no? So the telegram came saying that sorry you need not come uh, because of uh, doctor's report saying that you are unfit for this post. So the detailed letter will follow later. Actually this was a big disappointment than earlier. LIC thing I didn't even write the exam. Here the exam is over, written test is over, medical test over just waiting for appointment order. So it was a big shock and even my father came to his stage that okay I will take voluntary retirement they will give some post LDC post something they will give you can do that one I know that to know I don't want to gain job, job employment like that I want to earn on my own I want to uh, get it on my own and otherwise if it is 
not possible, okay, leave it. I can have one mathematics tutor there. Because I am already uh, conducting the situations. I was so confident. So we went from that rural area, we went to Hyderabad. We went to so many doctors. We took some seniors' opinion. Everybody told, it was the genuine case. Below 40% is not a term of disability. More than 40% only, they will be treated as a disabled. And in this case, actually, nowadays what is happening, small, small problems also somewhere, somehow they will manage and get one medical certificate. When a person with a real disability, when they go, they will think that, how is the doctor was a children specialist. People are surprised how this lady will work with this much severe disability. That was his uh, intention. That's why he gave that. Finally, we approached him saying, we prepared a beautiful representation saying, my qualifications, all those things my father mentioned, how uh, bright I am, and after that, how a children specialist can reject a case where orthopedic doctor's opinion should be taken. Without taking that doctor's opinion, how children specialist can give. When we raised that point, the bank realized, and then the another uh, panel, doctor's panel, they uh, did that medical into this one and after that finally with the three months gap I could get job in State Bank of Hyderabad. I joined. <laughs> so for my uh, villagers, it was a great uh, thing for them because we don't know anybody in Hyderabad but my father, my, my mother and myself went to Hyderabad and finally we could get that job. They, many people told that had it happened for us, we would have left it. Because we don't know how to go to Hyderabad and with whom to speak. But it happened and finally I could get the job. So after that I did, I worked in different places for 15 years I worked there. And uh, I was, in all my performance reports, if we see, they mentioned that Madhavi is equal to three persons. Why I am telling this? Because many people after seeing a person in sitting in wheelchair or some other disability, they will think that first they will look at their disability and they may not be able to come forward to give the job. But actually we should look at the abilities of the person instead of looking at the disability. That is the proper way. Because my brain is working very well, my hands are working, then why they need to think a lot for giving a job to a person like me? Some other person may have some other qualities. So we need to see the actual abilities of that person. So 15 years I worked there. And another thing is, I drive car, you might have seen. When I came, I learned driving scooter and after that car. That was one beautiful experience for me. When I learned first riding a scooter, it gave me immense pleasure. Because I am very, very active person. But when I walk, I can walk only slowly. I can't walk fast. But when I started driving, I can go fast. Even today also many people tell that I drive fast. That may be the reason also, I don't know. But I love very much driving. First studies, I read uh, reading books also my habit. And when I started learning driving, driving became my favorite thing. And working also, I love it. I love my job. And so it's going like this. Life, life was so uh, beautiful and bright for me even today also. Uh, after that, after 15 years, you have seen I have many professional qualifications. When I had this uh, inter international qualifications, I got an opportunity in Scope International. Uh, here, that is a 100% uh, wholly owned subsidiary of Standard Chartered Bank. It's a back office of Standard Chartered Bank. Standard Chartered Bank is UK based bank. It's there in some around 70 countries. So actually I, I love I love my previous organ state bank also very much. When whoever comes from these foreign banks, you know, those people use it to tell uh, no, whatever work you do here, uh, that is not equivalent to our job. Uh, in MNC job, that is too challenging. Uh, if you are able to prove there, then only we can accept like that some things they usually tell me. Then I thought that, what is that challenge? Actually, I love challenges very much. I have so many challenges in life. Suppose if any time no challenge is there, I will invite some challenges. That is 
my nature. So then I thought that, okay, I will try it. How it will be in working in MNC? Then when I resigned that government job, uh, now I am not telling this, you resigned the government job. Actually, because I want to take up some challenging thing, how it is going to be, for that only I went there, otherwise my, I love my job very much in state bank also. So then, uh, I said there, none of my friends, relatives, they liked it. My colleagues, they know, okay, Mari, wherever you go, you can manage, no problem like that, they told. But relatives, they didn't, they didn't like my cousins, they, some people didn't speak to me for some days. Are you, are you mad? Uh, why are you leaving government job and going to private side? And that to leaving our place and going to a different state, uh, your parents also, they also become old and you are going alone with your parents. This is not at all good, like that everybody told. But my parents told, my parents always, they stood, they stood behind me. Whatever decision I took, okay, they support, they support. Even today also same thing. So then uh, I resigned there and came to Chennai in 2006. So before coming that itself, what happened, I am so active, I am doing so many, I was doing so many things, but I was only sitting, sitting and working, no physical activity. In my childhood itself, at the age of 7th year, my mother used to tell, if we, uh, if we go for surgery, you, you will become normal like that. Then I used to wait in those days for that surgery. If it happens, I may become normal like that with that intention. And we went to Hyderabad and got it such a, when we went for surgery, uh, I was, generally children will be scared, you know, for when surgery is happening means they will have some fears. But I was ready with the, we need to remove all these things and we should be ready, get ready for the surgery. I used to be very ready and enthusiastically waited for that moment. Because I thought that, okay, after surgery it will become normal. After surgery, what happened, uh, that surgery actually was left leg, it didn't happen also properly. And after that, when they gave um, calipers, that is from toe to shoulders. My case is different, it is only, not only sufficient for legs, it has to be up to here. So it was iron, with the made, of, made up with iron, heavy weight. I was so weak in those days and if I wore that one, I used to become like this full sweating and the uh, lips also coming into blue color, that type of uh, situation. I didn't like that at all. So, uh, I, I removed those things, I told my parents I won't wear at all. I realized that the doctor told me on that day, I thought that why should I wear again these things? I am thinking that after surgery, okay, normal. Then he told that you are through your throughout your life you have to wear this one. The way he told no, I I was uh, if anybody tells you do this one, then I will think about whether to do or not. If I don't like, I don't do. So when the doctor told me that you have to wear this one, you have to do these exercises, then I thought no, I won't do. <laughs> I don't like that only, and I I didn't do any such type of uh, exercises or anything. The, the, those exercises also used to be very um, painful, so I didn't do any of those things. So now what happened, situation came to this state that way, I'm sitting, sitting and here these muscles didn't have energy. That is why, how we are sitting straight, we know that, we know that, how we are able to sit straight. I, I came to know about our anatomy also at that time only uh, when I faced the problem. We are able to sit straight because of the um, power in this energy in this muscles, stomach muscles. When these muscles didn't, muscles didn't have energy, then what will happen? Like spine will get compressed. So after compressing, my situation became like uh, breathlessness. Severe weakness. If I hold this one, my hands will pain. If I look, my neck, neck will pain. If I uh, drive also, my everything, anything, whatever I do, severe pain and back pain. Unable to sit. In that condition, I went to the doctor. Went to one famous orthopedic surgeon. Then, what 
report he gave. That doctor's report is there. Now I want to show it to you because you should know what was my condition in 2007. Sand was there. 
So we used to play a lot, so many games. We don't know the names also. They are children. <coughs> after uh, five, six years, I played like that. And after that, slowly they are playing some games like poverty or running or something which I was not able to participate. As children, we played something in the sand, okay. After that, even in that condition also, my uh, friends were so supportive, they love me very much. So they used to carry me in their hands and run, play like that. But uh, it's very difficult. Carrying one person and playing is very difficult. So I thought that no, I should not trouble them. So I kept myself away. Again, after this many years, suddenly one person told me you can play for something. <laughs> so it made me very happy in spite of that physical condition. Then doctor told me, uh, a physiotherapist told me, for you best therapy is hydrotherapy. First time in my life I heard about that. Hydrotherapy means doing exercises under water. And at that time I was not able to sit even for 5 minutes. So he suggested me one spinal brace. So spinal brace means it's not like something belt like thing. It is full, it covers body full and back and front. It's like armor. If I wear that one, Backside hump is there for me. So that hump, it will hit that hump and I will get pain after some time. If I don't wear it, this back pain is there, I could not sit. I, I, so what is the thing? I used to wear for some time, again removing, again wearing, again sitting in office. He told me, don't, I applied leave initially when this doctor gave this uh, death sentence. <laughs> I applied leave. When I went to this physiotherapist, uh, he asked me when is, uh, uh, are you coming from our office? No sir, I am at home. I am on leave. Why are you on leave? He told me, when he asked me like that, immediately I got like a, I felt like I am okay, I am fine, normal. But I also thought, why I am sitting at home? Instead of going to office like that, I started thinking. So he told me like that, don't sit at home at all. If you sit at home, you will think about your uh, this health condition, all these things. You better go to office. So I went to office, I wore that uh, brace and my colleagues supported me a lot because I, I could not uh, keep those belts or everything. They used to support me. I used to remove and wear so many times because with that also I could not be there for a long time without that also. So that was the condition. I was there in that condition for 7 months, 8 months and simultaneously hydrotherapy. When he told about hydrotherapy, all my friends told us again, like the job, when I resigned job, no, like that, they also started telling, is the doctor mad or what happened? A person let you walk and you enter into water. But I told that I liked it very much because I love water, to enter into water very much. But when you, whenever we go for temples or anything, ponds will be there. I wanted to enter, but it was used to be very slippery and difficult even for normal people. So I didn't try. So when the doctor told hydrotherapy and Paralympics, actually 50% of my pain got reduced. So you understand how psychology plays most most important role than the treatment or other things. That had I met this type of person in my childhood, I could have done all these things. He also told me, had I started doing hydrotherapy in my childhood, my physical condition would have been better. But we don't know. We were in a great ignorance. Even today many people are there in that type of ignorance. I am trying to uh, clear those uh, ignorance levels and I am trying to create awareness about these things. How hydrotherapy helped me? Uh, are you able to understand how a person like me can enter into water and uh, survive there? Any idea? Whether you, you yourself will allow any physically challenged person into water? Actually it is very very helpful. Here when I do something I have to bear my weight. But when I am under water, water will take, that is called water buoyancy. Science students may be, they might be knowing. Water buoyancy. Water will take care of my weight. Suppose if I outside if I have 100 cases, inside I will feel only 30 cases weight. So that is the beauty of these things. So how it helps a person like me? 
whatever I cannot do on the ground because of weak muscles. Because of weak muscles, what will happen? Suppose if my weight is 50 kgs, I may feel it more than that. Because already muscles are weak. If muscles are strengthened, then I feel very light. So here, what is going to happen without muscles, this one, my weight is getting reduced immediately after entering into the water. First day when I entered into water, immediately I could get the relief from pain, pain, the back pain. What happened? My weight became less now. So the compression on the muscles was less. Immediately you can understand the change. When you come out again you will face that pain. But as long as you are under water, immediately you can feel that change. So it was fantastic experience for me. And I can walk under water also. In independently, without any support. Because the support is there from water, but that I, we can't do. So, I feel that I walk independently. First time when we took that video and sent to my cousin's friend, for sibling, they felt very happy and uh, they became very emotional that we could see Madhavi walking independently at this age. Like, uh, we feel happy you know, when children walk on their, their own. Like that. That did happen for me. So it was a fantastic experience for me. So after that slowly I started, when I went to swimming pool, no, the coach told I don't know how to teach a person like you. I don't know, from the beginning it's happening in my life, I, I learn things on my own. Even education also like that, even swimming also like that. Swimming also, I wore that uh, aquatic belt and I started swimming. Swimming means just moving my hands and legs from one place to another. Slowly after some time when I got confidence, after getting the confidence of my parents also, because my father, when I was under water, he used to be under full tension. Uh, if suddenly the tube, if it goes, she may drown. That was his fear. When I swim this side, you know, he used to come along with me walking. Uh, even though he doesn't know swimming, he used to come along with me on the edge. So, you know, when they got, you know, I'm able to convince them, when I was able to convince them, I could remove that uh, aquatic belt. I started swimming on my own. After uh, uh, one or two years, it happened like that. In 2010, uh, I saw one uh, advertisement in my office, corporate wedding PR. So, when I saw that all uh, sports event, swimming was there. When swimming is there, I thought that, okay, why can't I participate? I know, I, I, I may not be able to win because I am participating with, competing with the normal able bodied people. But I wanted to participate. So I went there. When I went there, none of them thought I was a participant. Everybody thought that like audience, she came to watch. When I went to change the my dress and came, everybody got surprised. Is she going to swim? How she will swim? All those doubts. <coughs> my even organizers also, whether to yellow or not, that is their doubt. But after seeing my enthusiasm, they were not able to tell no to me. But at the same time, if something goes wrong, as, as an organizer, they will face problem. Like that they thought, what they did, they arranged two swimmers, one in front of me, one behind me. Just, they were coming along with me, they don't do anything, they don't extend any support to me, just in case, if I drown, they want to save my, save me. So they came like that, but I didn't took their support. I completed 100 meter also. So it was a nice experience for everybody. Even the gold medalist came and I didn't get any medals. Just I participated first time. So the gold medalist came and told me, Madam Mari, my gold medal is nothing before you were this one. I felt so happy. After going home also, even when I was sleeping, uh, that uh, flying in the air, that feeling, really I uh, not uh, telling, just literally I felt uh, and I was sleeping on the bed, I thought like that I was on the air, that much happiness. Then I, th I thought that, okay, at this age, almost 40 years, at this age if I am feeling this much happy, what about kids? If they are able to participate, how much happy they will be, how much confidence they will get. So then I started advising others 
Okay, you also do this one. This is very good. When I tell you, all those people used to come back saying, what they might have told anybody can guess. When I tell it, when I told a physically challenged person, you also do swimming. This is good for your health. What those persons might have told any idea? Hmm?
and no facilities, infrastructure facilities for entering and coming out. This is the situation. So first thing what I thought is, what I could do easily is, first thing is creating awareness. That awareness also I don't want to create only among differently able people. If I tell only differently able people, you do, you do, do, what they will do? Society should support, no? So everybody should know. Everybody, engineers should know, doctors should know, uh, other corporates should know, everybody should know. So that's why I started giving presentation. So I started a moment called Yes, We Too Can. Yes, We Too Can. That main objective is to encourage sports, this one, to encourage sports with an emphasis on swimming. Why emphasis on swimming? Swimming is very good for health, very good rehabilitative impact and also great relaxation. All the people, those, except those who are having water phobia, everybody loves to be under water. Water, sand, these two things make anybody like a child. You go, you go and see why people are going to beach. They will enjoy in playing in sand in spite of their, irrespective of their age. So same thing, here water also everybody loves it. So had somebody suggested me to do swimming in my childhood without telling all those painful exercises, I could have done very easily. I thought that it's like a play, but nobody suggested me in my childhood. So, so after that, I started a moment as we took in. I started giving presentations in engineering colleges, mainly at one first engineering colleges because I wanted to tell them how independent my life is right now because of engineers. I drive car, mechanical engineer is there. In my office everything is accessible, civil engineer is there. And I have automatic wheelchair at office because our office is a very big office. Three, four buildings are there. I need to move around between these, uh, among these buildings for meetings, all these things. I am quite comfortable, quite independent. That is because of engineers. That's why I used to go and tell them, because they also should know. When you are doing something, if you know how it is going to impact others' life, you will feel that pride. When, when an engineer is doing something, if he knows that it is going to help me a lot, he will feel happy. Money is the last thing, least thing actually. Everybody may think that money is the most important thing, not, not like that. Money anyway it will come. But uh, happiness we can get only when we serve others, when we saw the happiness on their face. That only will give us real happiness. So that's what I started doing. So many presentations I gave in corporates, colleges, everything. So now we came to a stage. I wanted to support others also. Creating awareness, okay, anyway, it's ongoing job. And media people, they supported me a lot. So many articles came on me in Tamil media, English media, TV channels, print media, electronic media, everything. So, so many people came to know about these things. And one day I went to my CEO. I, told, I requested him that I want to train some more kids. I need some support. I went to first sports development Adati office. That I was the first time, first time in my life, I went to a uh, government office before that, we might have, I might have gone to some government hospital or some places, but with the cause for society, I went in first time in my life before going so many doubts whether if we go, whether they will receive us properly or not, or how it is going to be. So many doubts with that, I went to an IAS officer. That was the moment I it improved my confidence here. He responded in a very positive manner. At that time, my request is uh, to allow us to use one of their swimming pools to arrange this training. That was my request. Immediately, he accepted for that because they could not give for free of cost. They told, he told that I can give 50% concession. Whatever concession he gave, first of all, I got confidence, I gained confidence. Okay, whatever I am telling, it is correct only. IIS level officer got convinced means whatever I am telling, I also got some confidence. So after that next step, okay, they, they are ready to give 50% concession pool. Then 
for bringing the kids transportation all of this we need some money now then i went to my seva my seva and very first for this at this 10 15 kids and in getting care to ask for more so that's why i made it very small request i asked for 10 15 kids then he looked at me and told madri think big even today also i, I follow that very sincerely he told that madri think big it's not a it matter for a corporate like a score where supporting 10 15 kids is just nothing so he told that's okay we will support but you think big so from that time i started thinking more about that and after that i have taken the initiative to form paralympic swimming association of tamil nadu and to till now in tamil nadu that type of association is not there in 2011 i along with me i took three, three more participants i arranged training also for them in the pool where i am going and we went to palhapur maharashtra four of us went represented tamil nadu and we won eight medals and i won championship for another one boy without hands also he also got championship so it was a fantastic experience for us but what i observed is in that competition from tamil nadu four of us and from andhra only one person i think kerala also one person so from karnataka much better so 10 10 people around 10 people were there other than that all others are from north india so that itself is showing that how much awareness, awareness is there in south india then we thought that uh, why don't we conduct national event here in Tamil Nadu, Chennai next year. Then at least it will create awareness. What is happening whenever I went to uh, use this, this type of uh, presentation when I tell people, they were thinking that she is some super lady, super woman. She is having a job, she is in a good position and uh, she is also able to swim. Something, she is something above our normal people. Actually, I came from normal lower middle class and from rural area. I am not a very rich person, nothing coming from heaven, not like that. But now because my position is good, people usually think somehow she is managing, but all others may not be able to manage. So I wanted to clear that doubt also. When we bring all other people from different states, after seeing them, these people will get confidence. And another important thing is when I told about visually challenged person who is swimming there, here people were not able to believe, hey, how you will tell like that, how a blind person will swim, like that at all. So, we took a decision to conduct a national event. Can you imagine, national event conducting with more than 500 people with special requirements. How much challenging it is. We didn't have a single MP in our hand. Till this time, what I was doing, everything my own money only. Wherever I go or whatever presentations, everything I am doing, I was doing on my own, nothing from others. For national event I can, that is beyond my capacity. For that, first I approached my office people, slowly, IIT, I, everything because of my uh, relationship with the people is support came, like uh, IIT I gave presentation. So IIT director also I know very well, he is, he is a great affection for me. So when we requested them, finally they gave permission to provide accommodation. Because first, when I thought of conducting the event in Chennai, first place I thought for accommodation is IIT only. Because when I went there, I saw it's, most of the places are accessible. So if accommodation if we provide there, these people, as being a different able person, whenever I conduct anything, I will look for their comfort first. So they should be comfortable. So IIT first thing that is over. Sports Development Athletic Air Balance Air Swimming Pool, that is International Standard Pool. And Scope International finally they accepted to provide 1200 volunteers they provided for 4 days. Every, every 4 hours shift change. Because if we work from the morning to evening we will become tired. So we may not be able to serve the people better. So every 4 hours shift change. Like that we conducted that event. Finally, how it came out, no? That was the best event so far conducted at national level. That I will show you. Uh, where are you? 
You go to desk the uh, coaching academy. Uh, that's Shruti Media. Video. This is a short film on the national event. If you see, you will be press and play.
the inauguration of the competition started on the dot at the appointed time on 7th of December with the worshipful mayor of Chennai Corporation decided to rise army as the chief guest in the august presence of Mr. Sindhanil, MLA of Sidharat. Mr. B. K. Jayapati, IAS, State Commissioner for the Differently Able, and Sri Vaigayla. The chief host being Mr. Narsa Reddy, the patron in chief of PSAT N. Mr. Edwin Nevis, the CEO of Scope International, being the main sponsor, was also present as a special guest at the event. After the inaugural and welcome speech by the president of PSAT N, Dr. Mrs. K. Rama Devi, the much awaited competition got off to a great start with the customary lighting of the lamp and release of the balloons by the chief guest. The commencement of the competition was preceded by the hoisting of the flag and marched past by the contingents displaying the states that they were representing. The three days of the competition witnessed a plethora of events numbering to a total of 144 comprising different strokes in swimming namely freestyle, breaststroke, butterfly, backstroke, etc. This is wonderful point you will see after the diving dive. Medals for the competitions were given away on completion of the events to the winners by chosen dignitaries at the venue. Such a mega 
particular event of such volume and variety, which was totally accident free and incident free, would not have been possible but for the support of various organizations who came out willingly to help on this noble cause in terms of monetary, material, and physical assistance. PSAT N would like to place on record the unstinted support from Paralympic Women Federation of India, aided by Dr. B.K. Dabas and his team of professionals who were omnipresent during the competition and exhibited true leadership and professional acumen in the conduct of the events. PSAT then also is indebted to all its committed members and their family members for the ever willing support in all its endeavors and but for their valuable inputs, advices, positive responses and on-the-spot decisions, the smooth conduct of the 12th Paralympic swimming and water polo competition would not have been possible. In the end, the 12th Paralympic swimming and water polo competition showcased the true esprit de corps and sportsmanship amongst the physically challenged community, which none could match in the arena. Ripple's oh. Chennai 2012 was thus a grand success.
and before the national event, three weeks residential coaching camp with physiotherapy, protein powder, and daily one year, one glass of milk, one banana, two bananas, uh, energy drink. Because when we swim, we feel very thirsty. So energy drink. With all these things, we arranged, finally we arranged coaching camp. Initially when I tried, I could not get any sponsor. I struggled a lot. But finally, sports development that gave free of cost accommodation and a swimming pool and coach. And the Budwad project people, they provided food. Corporates like uh, Pavlis and Scope supported for this uh, track suit. And uh, that other energy drink all those things. Finally, it went on well. And those 40 people, <coughs> national event, won 26 medals. And Tamil Nadu is in fifth position.
417 this we conducted for visually challenged blind children they play cricket fantastic you, you cannot uh, you may not be able to believe the shots powerful shots how they play it so amazing actually go to next one uh, there with those kids who took some photograph next when i gave presentation in iit those iit students they are working on this brother swimming pool lift for entering and coming out of the pool is a big challenge so for that to support almost is going to be completed this project so the pool also they are making accessible one ramp they are arranging and for the another pool they are arranging this swimming pool lift next this one recently i arranged on 18th december with the support of chais international this is called a game bochia this is the ultimate for inclusion people with severe disabilities related to legs and hands also can play this one with a little movement in hands the little movement in legs also they can move the balls towards the goal they can achieve for some points it is there in paralympics international level so on that day next to prabha you get you see the faces of these kids they never experienced participating in such a sport event in such a very big stadium it was conducted in nehru indoor stadium that was when we saw the happiness no amazing next ah uh, this is wheelchair basketball the coach came from london he is mr jaspal this is wheelchair basketball so the chais international provided three sports wheelchair each sports wheelchair will cost around 3 lakhs they gave they presented three wheelchairs we kept at nehru park uh, sports complex in kya uh, formally hero so anybody if they want they can go and practice that so next i am also starting learning wheelchair basketball <laughs> that photograph is that only okay take it over the charging is over <laughs> okay so after seeing all these things what you are thinking when i started initially uh, i also don't know this will go up to this level how it how the all these things happen what what could be the reason what you are thinking Is there possibility? Any possibility? 
After seeing all these things, I am able to understand that we can do wonders. The person without having any confidence also, we can make him or her confident. That is what we should do. Only thing is, we need to do that type of support. We need not give money or these things. That okay, when we have, we, we may be able to give. But small, small things also, you see in my case, when the doctor told me about paralympics force and all these things, immediately, even though my physical condition is same, same pain, same thing, but mentally, I became very active. I, I started thinking positively again. That is, actually, positive attitude is there in me. But I lost that for some time. When the orthopedic surgeon told me that you are going to die, immediately, my confidence levels, my positive attitude, everything came down. Then again I went to physiotherapist, again it slowly started improving. So this is the greatest lesson which we can learn from this entire episode. This is there in our hands. You can make other, not only different cable people, any other person. First of all you give them confidence that they can do that work. And today I want to give you that confidence, you can get through this UPSC or TNPSC, whatever exam you are going to write, if you have confidence, you can definitely achieve that. You concentrate on that. But first of all, before that I want to ask you, why do you want to become an IAS officer or IPS officer? Why do you want to become? Is it because of power or position or to earn money? Frankly, you tell me, don't try to be smart and tell something which is not there in your heart. <laughs> don't tell me. If you, you want to earn money, yes, I want to earn money, that's why I want to become my IAS officer. Or I want to do something else. Yes. What do you want to? Both. Pardon me? Tell me. Both. Huh? Both. Both. Okay. Any money and position. You want only those two. That is why you want to become IAS. Service man. Really you want to do service <laughs> That's great. That's great. Actually, after seeing these IAS officers you know, closely, uh, particularly that uh, Mr. Raja Raman, very rare we, can, we, can, uh, we cannot find such type of people. Very rare. Few people only will be there. It's very sincere. Very committed, and he uh, till recently he was doing three departments. Three departments generally each one one IAS officer will be there for one department. I don't know because of uh, uh, what condition he was handling three departments. But even then, excellent time management. No paper will be on his table for more than one day. Immediately, whenever it comes, it will be clear. The time management. If he gives appointment at 1 o'clock, 1 o'clock he will meet us. Generally it won't happen. If we go to IAS offices or anybody, even after giving appointment, we have to wait for more hours. But how he manages his time, I don't know. But he will stick to his timings. It's a time management. He won't expect anything from anybody. Even if we appreciate single appreciation also, he won't accept. He won't accept anything from anybody. And he is very knowledgeable. Nobody can deceive him. Saying some stories, nobody can deceive him. He is very, very knowledgeable. So if somebody tells anything, he can immediately understand whether what he is telling right or not. No recommendations, nothing. And he is the person, initiation, and another thing I forgot to tell you, government sanctioned a swimming pool, which is going to be constructed barrier free for people with all types of requirements visually challenged people like me, for everybody. It's sanctioned and going to be constructed in every state. So when we, before that also I went with requests, but at that time people didn't, uh, they, thought they were with so many doubts. If we allow, if anybody drowns, if something happens, with that doubts only people were there. Nothing happened. But after he came, you, you can see, for issuing one GO, how much time it will take in government, I don't know whether you know or not. It may be one year, two years also 
like that, but it happened. So, I, how much gratitude I am having for him, you don't know. Because we don't have any recommendation, any influence. Just we went and gave one genuine request. And with that, what action he started taking, you know. Suddenly God answered now. That's it in two days, but food was off. Okay, the, uh, whoever is going to come, they also may take. But already all these things are happening, suddenly it happened like this. But you see how much gratitude is there for him in our heart. If you are able to earn that, that is that will give you great happiness, not crores of rupees. If we stick to our some principles, commitment, and if we serve the people, we will get more happiness. Today I am getting why I am able to do in spite of my hectic schedule at the office. I am not sitting idle. I am not doing only these things. I am a, resp a responsible, I mean a responsible position. Associate Vice President in MNC. How much work will be there, you know. Apart from that, I am doing all these things because of passion. But how I am able to do, how I am able to manage, because that gives me happiness. You might have seen one small kid there sitting in a wheelchair, one girl. Her, uh, she is with muscular dystrophy. Uh, that means slowly muscles will become weak. They may die also after some time. Uh, maybe 15, 16 years also. In that condition, for all these people, the doctor suggested swimming only. So many people started to improve their health only. But what happened earlier, earlier it was a one big task for her mother to bring her for swimming. She didn't uh, come that much uh, easily. Now, because of participating in these competitions, her mother is telling, daily she is after her mother to take her to swimming. She is doing without any problem. She is doing happily. She is very happy that her kid is doing and her health is maintained. Whenever we heard about, she told that this is because of you. Okay, I am not ready to take that uh, credit. But I feel happy that somebody is healthy and happy because of this. I am feeling happy. That happiness is sufficient. Okay, we need uh, money that is required. Anyway, for that we are working. We are working and I am earning. So I did not uh, require anything beyond that. But only this happiness makes me uh, vibrant, active and giving me energy to do more things. So my request to all of you is first, have the confidence and become really the ties or I guess whatever you want, that, that position you achieve it. And after that also, please think about these things. Once position comes, don't think that we are sitting here, okay, we can travel as much as possible as yes. <laughs> Don't think like that. With your position, what support you can extend, please try to do that. Any questions? Any questions you want to ask? Anything about my personal life or whatever activities I am doing? If you don't have any doubts, I think I can say thanks to all of you for patiently listening and uh, thanks to uh, the managing director of this academy, Mr. Arul Anandu. Uh, he is extending very great service, I think, uh, for providing this type of uh, uh, coaching at free of cost. It's not an easy task he is doing. I think, I hope all of you will use it. And Director Mr. Cherry uh, for inviting me for this Prabhakar. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, it's my pleasure to meet all of you. Thanks, ma'am. As a token of memory, I will ask Mr. Balaji, who is also a director, to hand over the present to this great achievement.
with your experiences, which will have an everlasting feeling in our life. Yes, we too can. This is the feel everybody is having right now. She is an example for the court. Pain is always inevitable, but suffering is optional. She chose not to suffer. In fact, converted it to a positive opportunity to achieve a proven life. At present, for the students who are, who are appearing for all the examination, now they can prove a double boom as nothing is impossible. And yes, we do can. Thank you. all the students. Uh, actually, I didn't get time for this uh, because everything is uh, arranged in everybody. So, thanks for students and short notice you appear over here. And to end this wonderful evening, I will ask one of our students, Mr. Janathan, how he felt after meeting her for the first time at, th at this desk. Because I really want to know how students felt after meeting her. So I inside some of the students and he gave. Good evening, my name is Yanada. I am preparing for civil services here uh, since uh, six months. And first of all, I need to say this. Uh, a two hours of interaction with a person like you will give the psychological support. Whatever you have got from your hydro therapy dog. Uh, I don't have a habit of uh, writing before speaking. But today, by seeing our director, I have so, what I learned from your from your interaction is, first of all, I I uh, try to extend the psychological support, and uh, first of all, I need to accept frankly that uh, I cannot make a relations uh, more than uh, more than uh, for long times because of my attitude problems. So whenever uh, the moment I saw the differently abled people trying to be, uh, trying to come with, uh, uh, trying, um, trying to, to uh, include in the society, trying to be, uh, to be in mainstream people. So uh, now I thought of changing my attitude so that I can make good relations, and by that only I know by that only we can get psychological support. So. And I can also analyze that your success has been uh, came by uh, few of these steps. First of all, you have very good determination to do and uh, to give the support whatever you have got through your parents. That is uh, that is the result you can see in P S N. So, and uh, the most important thing is uh, the moment when you started as weekend to. Uh, uh, when speak to Ken, you did not stop there. So you always uh, thought what's next. So that is also a reason for your success like uh, in the form of peace at home. So, uh, and the IAS officer who has extended his support, uh, the key uh, is time management. Uh, I, am, uh, I have discussing with uh, many of my colleagues also. That is the point we are lagging off. I know I can be a successful person if I uh, if I use my time very well, but I am lagging off. I will try to improve it. And, and uh, I am very happy that I am also from Andhra Pradesh. <laughs> <laughs> so finally, I, I would like to conclude uh, by praising our uh, Rich India that we have been uh, meeting very good personalities the world I have seen before six months is dif totally different to the world I am seeing now. So, uh, the, my st uh, the stability of my mind has been uh, to totally different. I think uh, I would work like, and I, I, I extend support more than the IAS officer you have met in your life. Thank you. Any idea? When can we take decisions very fast? Pardon me? Some other person? 
good knowledge about everything. Yes. Mm. One thing is okay, intention should be there. Knowledge. Knowledge is power. Please remember that. If you have knowledge, sufficient knowledge, you can take decision. If yourself is not confident about what you need to do, then you can't take decision. So that in the time management, this making decisions fast also is very important. When you are knowledgeable only, you can manage your time also well because you can take decisions fast. That is also please uh, you need to learn that one. Last but not least, I will ask some lady members to come forward. Say at least few minutes what you felt. Thanks, Arjuna. Hello, madam. So, yesterday I got the message like uh, some associate, uh, VP is going to uh, come here and give some motivational speech, and uh, I didn't have any idea actually. So, I just told my husband and uh, some. Lady, uh, she has so much uh, money. Uh, I mean, she's the VP, so she's going to uh, say blah blah things, and I have to listen. That's what I. That's uh, what I was thinking. Even today, I was thinking that. And uh, when you started started talking, oh my God, I didn't know like uh, people could have these many obstacles. And uh, I was a person with uh, more self pity. I should say, I was married. I had a kid, and uh, what would I do? How would I study? And uh, when, you when I compare to these things, literally it's nothing, literally nothing. And uh, I would praise you, praise you like hell for this thing, like how, would, how do you do it actually? So I got this uh, confidence and uh, attitude, a real good attitude about uh, moving forward. Uh, when I uh, uh, heard about your, I mean, when I heard about what you spoke. So the next thing is, um, after, um, uh, I mean, after coming to Rich India, uh, when I am studying, there is a huge transformation. Like, uh, first when I wanted to uh, study for UPSC, uh, what I was thinking about, uh, like, what was the salaries about 60,000, 70,000, how would I put for my home loan? That's what, my, that's, uh, what I had, that was my attitude. And uh, after these months, 6 or 7 months, there was a huge transformation. How you look towards others, how you uh, more like serve, uh, how you uh, serve others, and this thing. Well, what I heard now, it's a step in that transformation. And hope uh, in the near future, I'll transform fully and I'll be a good uh, civil servant. Thank you.
my side I'm happy she is to marry take it now okay le i begin marriage <laughs> I'm against marriage because I feel like people can achieve more if they are still married. <laughs> so, okay. as he thanked you from Andhra Pradesh, I want to thank Andhra Pradesh for that marriage. Okay, uh, if anybody is having why I didn't go for marriage, uh, that doubt if you have, my reply is uh, in that in those days I thought that uh, if you see in our society. One person get a wife with the dowry, everything. That is our society is like that. Even after having equal qualifications, everything, he is able to get a uh, qualified person with a good uh, financial background like that. So when why a person need to choose me in these conditions when he is having so many other options? Why he needs to choose me and live with me with so many challenges? I could not find any big reason for that. So I thought that why I am habituated to live with these challenges. I don't want to bring other person also uh, to enter into these type of challenges. Initially they may come, one fear also might be there because initially they may accept and come forward and after that, oh my God, daily day to day, day in, day out, some challenge may be there. It may not be with the normal wife. But life is there with this person. He, he has to do some sacrifices like that. So then I thought, why to trouble others? I don't want that one. Then I decided, okay, I can be like that. And I didn't uh, repent for that. And after that, I entered into job and became a work And after that, this many activities, I don't have time to think about that. So I'm happy <laughs> to be like this. Maybe that may be the reason also because of that only I am able to do more things than also maybe. Yeah, that's true. That's maybe, true. I don't know. But I have seen, but those who wants to go for marriage, they can go for it. I have seen very successful couple. Uh, one of them may be differently able, others, others may be normal or both are some challenge. But they are very successfully, they are leading their life. Uh, it, it, they need not follow, everybody need not follow me. <laughs> this is my issue. Thanks, but any other doubts? Sorry, any other queries? No. Actually, I mean, that uh, physiotherapist, no? How is he? Right now? Pardon me? I mean, that uh, physiotherapist, no? Yes. Actually, I want to concur as a that physiotherapist. Yes, actually. yes definitely. He's a strong and jyoti. Yeah. And actually, he did a very wonderful job. And after that, so many changes happened. So I love Chennai very much because after coming here, I learned so many things. And this is, uh, suppose before coming to Chennai, if anybody knows about me, and now if they come to know whatever I am doing, really they will get surprised. Yeah, he is the one who yes. guided you right and right. Yes, that's what I am saying. So uh, all these things, it uh, doesn't mean that I am only doing all this. Okay, I have confidence, determination, all these things might be there, but the support, we are getting from others that is great that they either uh, physiotherapist or these IAS officers are my boss or other people also like IIT director, Laila College principal. Uh, like there are so many well wishes are there for me. First time when I want to give presentation, do you know where did I give my first presentation? Uh, I went to Laila College. When I thought of giving presentation, I went to Laila College. And Laila College uh, I myself, whatever I want to do, I will do that. I don't have any fear. That is one of the um, good points which I like in me is I don't have fear to do anything which I feel that it is correct. So I went to directly at Laila College and I inquired about principal is there. Their PR, those people told principal is not there right now. And even if he is there also, one month he can't give appointment to anybody. He is very busy with the admissions. Then I thought, oh my God, for getting appointment itself after one month, when can I give presentation? Somebody told me after seeing me, generally people will support me a lot whenever I go. So they thought that, okay, ba, how can she come by day? Like that, they might have thought. They told that one vice principal is there, he is related to this service activities. You go there. 
that directed me to that place. When I went there, I came to know that he is in a, he was in a seminar. So I was waiting outside that room. He came and went out there, but I don't know who is that uh, vice principal. He came. Again, he went out after that. Then when I checked with those people, they told us, sir left already, he is in his cabin, you go there. Again, we went to his cabin. After seeing me, he himself came out. After he, he asked me, what now, why did, why did you come? I started telling, with one sentence, it's the fees, I will understand this cannot be solved here, except Then he invited me inside. When I explained these things, on this part, I went at 12 o'clock. He told that 2 o'clock one seminar is there for around 300 students. Some seminar is going on. First 15 minutes, I will allocate to you. Are you ready? <laughs> really, it was amazing for me because I am thinking for getting appointment of the principal itself, I am thinking it, it may take one month. Suddenly he told me. I told him, I am ready. Because everything is there in my mind. It is not a some subject which we need to prepare ourselves. So I, it, it went on very nice. Whenever I tell, it is first time for them to reason these things, so definitely it will be very impressive for them. So that is the first place I gave my presentation. Till now, I will get same support from the Lila College. I remember a quote. A sailor who never moves his ship away from the shore will never reach his destination. This is true. Because from Hyderabad, without knowing language, I don't know, even in UPC students, I am seeing few people who resist to go to Delhi to have further studies because of not knowing Hindi. See, nothing is a barrier. Everything is a challenge. Even having food is a challenge. Okay? You have to face each challenges to achieve in life. As Chesterton, Chesterton says, adventure is the inconvenience rightly considered. So everything is inconvenience. Converted adventure and proven life. Any more queries? We need to come out of your comfort zone. Yeah, true. That's important. The comfort zone and complacent zone. More, more, more. Then only you are achieving. And as long as you are in shade, you cannot. Move out of the shade, have you create your own atmosphere and you turn a shade to others. When I told about moving from that job to this job, so many people objected, you know. Uh, I didn't tell about that point. Uh, now in 2011, I was selected as the Women of the Year Award in our organization. <laughs> working maybe different all those things, it would have not been happened, no? At the global level exposure is there for me right now. So, please don't hesitate to do any new things if you like to do. Nothing will happen. Everything will happen positively only, but don't fear. That is the message we can give. No fear. No fear is required. Wherever I am going, my father used to get surprised. How you are, we went to secretariat and met the, met the principal secretary level people and came. My father was getting surprised, how did you go? How did you meet them so simple, so simply? I also don't know that, I, I don't know that it's a very great thing because they are there to serve us only, no? So we went and we requested for a permit, they gave, we met, simple. So if you start doing, things will happen. <laughs> from the hand. Any more queries? The last query. Somebody can ask and we can 